Hello, you are listening to the OmniTalk Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with the AM Consumer and Retail Group, Firework, Sezzle, and Silk. All right, headline number four, DoorDash has launched a new service called Package Pickup. Wow. <laughs> pretty, pretty straightforward, huh? Man? According to a company blog post, with Package Pickup, consumers can request a dasher, not a prancer, but a dasher, to pick up their prepaid packages from their home and drop them off at their local carrier. I'm, gra- I'm glad you cracked yourself up with that one. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another reindeer, but I can't off the top of my head. Blitzen? Yeah, Blitzen, yes. <laughs> Donder. All right. Oh, I called it Donder. My kids, like, uh, gave me the right axe. Like, Donder. It's not Donder. It's Donner. They, Donner. They should have given Donner? me the right axe. Donner. Donner and Blitzen. Yeah. Donner. All right. But we digress. So, so the consumers can request a dasher to pick up their prepaid packages from their home and drop them off at their local carrier, including UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Here's how it works. This is cool, actually. Yeah. You select the packages hub on the top of the DoorDash homepage and select the carrier, again, UPS, FedEx, USPS, whoever you want, that corresponds to the packages you're sending back. You then get your packages ready up to five total. You can send back per dash or pickup, attach a prepaid shipping label, or if you have a shipping QR code, this is super cool. You can send the QR code directly to your dasher in the DoorDash app, meaning no printer or box for the item is even required. And cancel Christmas, request a package pickup, and a dasher will then be assigned to pick up your packages ASAP. And finally, your dasher will send you a confirmation photo as well after dropping off your packages at the designated delivery location or pickup or return location, yeah. I guess, in this case. So, Anne, what's your thoughts? Oh, and by the way, you can do this all for a flat fee of $5 yeah. or $3 if you're a Dash Pass member yes. as well. And again, up to five packages can be picked up. What do you think here? I love I this. Think you, I knew you were gonna I love, love this. this. Yes. I mean, uh, I interviewed Amazon's, uh, or sorry, Amazon. I interviewed DoorDash's. Shauna Prive and she talked about early pilots about of this mm. last year and I right. loved Great it. Podcast. I was like so excited about it when she was talking about how they were starting to explore this. Um, I loved it then. I love it now. I think, you know, if you think about just how much is your time worth? Like that's the question that people need to ask themselves. And five dollars is your time to return. And you even even Amazon alone, like let's look yeah. at one Amazon order. One could have you going to Whole Foods, one could have you going to the U- UPS store. Like two is two errands Kohl's work Kohl's. Dare I say it? <laughs> Dare you say it? But like, is two two places that you have to go yeah. checking two items off your list worth five dollars yes probably worse the cost in gas right for sure right? especially it's, for three bucks it's amazing so i think that this is great for the consumer it's definitely a reason to get a dash pass to save to, you know three dollars is even better and then i think the number one thing from doordash's perspective is now you have you're maximizing the utilization of the doordash drivers 100%. like they are the, they are in that neighborhood you can be so much more efficient and and assigning your dashers per you know their on their day-to-day route i think it's brilliant 100%. I mean, I think your last point reminds me of what I think is has become the number one adage on our show after doing this show now for six seasons. We are entering our sixth season. Yeah. And by that, I mean six years, not these bullshit seasons that <laughs> people like do like 10 episodes and they've done a season. I'm talking six full years of doing this show, Ann. And that is that what is old is new again. Yeah. Right. And that's what you're talking about here, because essentially DoorDash is just getting into backhaul reverse logistics. The drivers are already out in neighborhoods. Yeah. Right. They, you assign them where they're needed based on the activity that you have for package pickup. Mm-hmm. You do it for a fee that works. Yep. Like you're only taking business if it works. So you're yep. no worse off if you're DoorDash. Contrast this with, and I'm going to say this, the Yahoo's at Instacart that are trying to launch heavy <laughs> item delivery, which brings no scale at all to their current operation yeah. or trying to even worse, get into actual grocery store operations, which they have no credibility to do. And you see who is winning and who is losing here in the long run yep. and who you should place your money behind, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's an excellent point. Um, and it's super easy to use. I tried to do it last night. Did you? And yeah. And it was just like, you know, it's it's like, do you want food? Do you want something from the Dash Mart? Or do you want a package pickup? Like, let's go one, two, three. And the, the like, uploading the QR code. Oh, man. That was I, awesome. Like, you didn't need a... a yeah, that's I mean, it's huge. so... It's just so simple. Yeah. It's like... 
I, I'm already doing that to my, I'm sending the QR code to my husband, who's my current dasher right now, but like, that's the, it's so simple, wow. really well done, great customer interface. And hopefully it's the same way for the dashers too. So. That's awesome. 